Hello, my name is Lupita Bautista. I'm going to be talking about offshore drilling and what it causes. So offshore drilling is a huge problem, which help, which helps lead to um, climate change. Let's see. Each year, about 880,000 gallons of oil are sent from our oceans in North America, from our platforms, and um, that's just the United States alone. Um, the Gulf of Mexico has 6 to 10 million gallons of oils still remaining. Um, we can expect to produce 420,000 gallons of oil every year into our oceans. That's just an estimate, but um, so some general consequences with offshore drilling are um, it disrupts wildlife habitat, it can be deadly to animals, air and water pollution, and it hurting local communities. Um, dangerous emissions contributing to climate change um, and oil and gas development ruining pristine landscapes. So expanded offshore drilling poses the risk of oil spills, which is like the accident. If I say accident in this, that's a spill. Um, so the risk of oil spills is it ruins our beaches, it brings harm to those who live, work, and vacation in that area, as well as it um, harms all the habitat in that area. So when an offshore drilling oil spill happens, the ocean, the ocean life is gonna be covered in oil or they're gonna try and swim away or they're gonna die or we're gonna eat it and then we're gonna die or get really sick because we're eating seafood that is covered in oil. Um, birds that go to the ocean to feed off marine life are also being harmed because either they're there when the oil spill happens and they just get covered in oil or they're coming in and getting in the ocean and trying to feed and then they're covered in oil they can't swim and they can't or not swim they can't fly and they can't go hunting for their food if they're covered in oil so they're gonna starve and probably die um okay next slide Okay, so the East and West Coast in America were like strongly opposed to having any more expansion of offshore drilling because we know the facts. We know that the planet is heating up and that we need to chill. Um, so, let's see. Oh, so they use air guns when they are doing the offshore drilling. They'll shoot these air guns into the ocean floor. And it is the loudest noise ever. It deafens a lot of marine life if it doesn't kill them or drive them away. Um, Atlantic whales and dolphins are being killed by offshore drilling and they're Communication sounds are being disrupted by air guns. These whales and dolphins are either dying or being driven away from their habitat and mating grounds. So not only does the oil and the water affect them, but the noise of those air guns is also harming marine life. So in the Arctic Ocean... It is, it holds the world's largest remaining untapped gas reserves and some of its largest undeveloped 
um, oil reserves. So a lot of offshore drilling is happening over here and many of Arctic marine life and land life rely on sea ice in the ocean for hunting and fishing. So not only do animals and fish rely on the ice for everyday life, so do the people that live there. Indigenous people rely on the Arctic for their food that they hunt. They have to go get it themselves. Um, So there are over 1 million oil and gas facilities in the United States alone. Um, this is not healthy to breathe. And it pollutes the air so bad that it is just leading to climate change. It's only helping climate change if we do offshore drilling. Because we are drilling into our ocean floor, releasing chemicals into the water killing marine life eating marine life and then we're contaminated with oil and gases because we're pumping it into the oceans we need to figure something else out because it's not working